going to be talking about models and manipulatives and using it in math. So I teach Algebra 1 and math has a lot of technical terms. It's basically its own language. So especially for ELL learners, it's really hard. They're trying to learn English and they're going to this whole other language in math. So models and manipulatives can be really helpful. So for example, we're learning how to uh, multiply polynomials. So I have my x plus 1 and my x plus 2. These are very abstract terms. So by having models and manipulatives, it gives the students something that they can associate it with. So I would explain to my kids that the big blue x, this is going to be our, our x squared. We're not sure what it is, but it's going to be our x squared. Our little green ones are our x's. We're not sure how long they are. They're just this kind of this abstract, our x. But our little ones, our ones are a one by one. So when we compare them, well, it's almost a one length, but it's not quite a length of two. So my x squared, is, or my x is kind of abstract. My little ones are each have their own little one by one. So the kids can be like, oh, x squared, x, one and one. All right. So now I have this problem, x plus one times x plus two. Now, how am I gonna multiply this? So I move it over here and my kids can set it up. So they know this is our x and we know this is our one. So x plus one, our x plus two, one, two. And the kids already know that my little blue is my x squared. So they're gonna put, okay, x times x is gonna be x squared. Okay, so I have that part. Now I'm like, okay, well I have this x and two, one, two, so it would be well, one x, two x. So I have two x's. Okay, so x times one is x, x times another one is x, so I have my two x's. So I have that part filled up. Now I have this other half. Well, how am I gonna fill this up? Well, I have this x times this one, so x times one is gonna be my x. Okay, so my, my box is almost getting filled up, but I have this missing part. Well, what am I gonna, oh, I have my one still left over. My one times my one is one. And then I have another one, one times one is one. So then I have my whole x filled out. So now I look and see what do I have left over. So I'm gonna have an x squared, so I write x squared. I have one, two, so plus two x. I have another x, so plus another x. And then I have my leftover twos. And then we go over like terms, and then we'd have our full polynomial after we've multiplied. So by having models and manipulatives, they have something like, okay, I know what x squared can mean. It can mean this one thing. My x's can also mean another thing. My ones mean, okay, one, two, one, two, I got them all. And then with the models and manipulatives, let's say it was a negative, I can flip it over. So they can associate red with negative, yellow with positive. It's something that they can work with if they can't quite remember the technical terms. Okay, I remember these, these, and these. So they can still solve the problem with later on really memorizing the technical term, but at least they can understand the concept right then and there instead of being completely lost and not sure, like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about anymore. I'm just gonna sit here. They have something to work with and play with and they can understand the concept.